Everybody, it's Victor with Cardiac Wire, and today we'll be talking to Dr. Ned Danahy, Amanda Nolan, and Natasha Stuber from Radiology Regional in Florida about their experience with cardiac MRI and how using Vista AI's automated MRI scanning software has helped them improve their imaging practice. With that, could you each please introduce yourselves? We'll start with Dr. Danahy. Sure. I'm Ned Danahy. I'm the head of cardiovascular imaging at Radiology Regional. I run our cardiac MR in our cardiovascular CT lab. How about you, Amanda? I am Amanda Nolan. I'm the Clinical Operations Director here at Radiology Regional. And Natasha? Hi, my name is Natasha Stuber, and I am the MRI Development Specialist. Great. Well, thank you all three for being here today, and I'm really excited to talk about this topic. Uh, just for our audience, could we maybe get a little bit of an introduction on Radiology Regional, and could you guys tell us a bit about where you stand in terms of scan volumes compared to other uh, similar imaging centers? Sure. Radiology Regional is a large community outpatient diagnostic imaging practice. Um, we span 115 miles north to south, up and down the west coast of Florida, crossing four counties and six hospital systems. We've been in practice for over 50 years, and our mission is to provide high-level diagnostic imaging to all the patients we serve in our communities. From the perspective of Enterprise-wide on a daily basis, we're probably the size of a medium-sized hospital system. We perform about 2,000 diagnostic imaging procedures every day across our 14 locations. We've got several long-standing relationships with our local cardiology groups. Um, specifically, when we reference cardiac MR, we're currently performing approximately 30 to 35 cardiac MRs per month. Enterprise-wide in 2024, we did just over half a million scans. You know, one of the things we wanted to do was um, We'd like to bring to our community and our patients a tertiary care level of cardiac MRI at our facility. And the reason for that is because, unfortunately, not all patients are able to make it to the Cleveland Clinic or the Brigham for their cardiac MR study. And we think it's critically important that they can access that technology at the same level right here in our own community. So with cardiac MR, uh, I'm a little bit curious. Could you tell us a little bit more about how that plays into radiology regionals, uh, broader efforts, and why you guys have a focus on CMR? Sure. We believe that um, cardiac MR is a rapidly expanding uh, modality and is going to be instrumental in providing information for cardiovascular diseases moving forward. Um, I think you can see that as referenced in the recent European Society Cardiology Guidelines, which just uh, reclassified cardiac MR as a class one indication for myocarditis. What we're finding is that the cardiologists that are trained more recently have had high level cardiac MR as part of their diagnostic imaging algorithm. And we believe it's crucial to supplement that need in the community where we practice and serve our patients as well. So with those changes in guideline recommendations and the fact that CMR is gaining a lot of traction, I'm sure that there have been uh, increases in volume. And I also know that a big part of cardiac MRI is uh, the workforce behind it due to how technical it is. With workforce and staffing issues becoming increasingly common amongst technologists, uh, is that something that radiology regional has had to deal with? Oh, absolutely, Victor. You know, I think uh, historically, if you look at how MRI techs are trained in the radiology world, um, they don't really receive a lot of cardiac MR training, I think, in their, um, in their process of learning how to perform cardiac MRs. Um, so um, I, I look at cardiac MR techs a little differently than regular techs. I think they require some critical thinking in terms of how they perform their job every day. And unless you're getting an echo tech who's crossing over to cardiac MR, the radiology tech um, really has not had a lot of exposure and I think uh, cardiac MR brings to light anatomy, pathology, and also physiology when you, when you get into flow quantitation. And those are, that's a whole new world for, um, for most MRI techs. So uh, it's difficult to find uh, and train them. Um, and obviously, we love to retain, uh, but there obviously is attrition along the way. So staffing is truly a challenge, I would say, at this point for cardiac MR. Well, thank you so much for all that background, Dr. Danahy. Now I want to switch over to Amanda a little bit. 
Uh, Dr. Danny, he talked a lot about the importance of CMR and kind of how it works within your guys' uh, imaging organization. Could you tell us a little bit about why Radiology Regional started to consider AI, for example, to leverage and improve your imaging processes? Yes, absolutely. Um, Radiology Regional has a culture to be on the leading edge of technology, um, again, to bring that in the area of Southwest Florida. We also needed something that we could scale up pretty rapidly. As Dr. Danny, he spoke about attrition with workforce and the lack of MRI techs at that high level um, available in this area. So we needed something that we could scale quickly, um, that we could have support with for the technologists and really grab that um, market of patients who needed the um, exams that we do. And so I know one of those products that you guys work with, as we mentioned earlier, is Vista AI's automated MRI scanning software. Could you tell us a little bit about why you chose that software and how it helped some of those aforementioned staffing issues? MRI in a normal sense uh, for cardiac MR does take about 90 minutes to two hours. We're a very um, busy center. As he stated, we do about 2,000 exams a day across all of our modalities. So we're looking for something that could save us time, increase consistency, and then be support um, to the technologists as they perform these exams. And going a little bit more behind uh, decision making for that uh, platform, uh, Dr. Danahy, I'm curious, why was Vista AI's product selected for radiology regional in specific? I learned of Vista AI uh, back in um, January of 2025 um, and was connected with the team um, went through kind of the evaluation process, looked at how they wanted to implement it, the claims that they were making um, in terms of efficiency. And um, I found, uh, and it looked very favorable. So at that point, we decided to engage with Vista AI um, as a solution for um, several of our cardiac MR needs. What we found during the implementation process was a very efficient team from Vista AI to work with, uh, from my perspective, Dr. Bob Hu, who's the medical director, um, was excellent. He's very knowledgeable about the system, um, always willing to help. And his goal was to make sure that our program incorporated Vista AI for our program and that it was functional for us. And it was a great uh, help. Thank you, Dr. Danahy, for kind of walking us through your guys' decision process for Vista AI. Obviously, now that you have it implemented, I'm kind of curious. Natasha, I know you have a lot of experience with the software. Could you tell us a little bit about how Vista AI software has impacted your day-to-day -day at Radiology Regional? Yes. So learning cardiac, um, I learned the old-fashioned way at first. I was doing weekends, um, and they ranged anywhere from 90 minutes to about two hours. Um, the patients had a very hard time finishing the exams. Um, and whenever Vista AI came into it, Lori and Dr. Who actually came on to site and made sure that the technologists were known exactly what they were doing. Um, if we didn't, we could just give them a phone, like a, a phone call and they would answer our questions. Um, the times actually have went down to about 45 minutes at the most, 60 minutes for like the ASD cases and things like that. Um, the patients are not complaining about how long they are versus the last time they had one done. Um, Amanda, do you want to add anything onto that as well? Yeah, I would say we had great support just rolling out the program in general. I mean, it was a real collaborative effort with our IT team, um, Vista AI's IT team, really coming together, getting time in place that we can make sure the connections are there, what we need, um, that we're able to do some remote um, logins. So Dr. Danny, he can real time see what Natasha is doing, um, you know, to see if we need to change anything with the protocols. Those are all advantages that we're really excited for. And especially in the future, as we keep growing with Vista AI, um, with their technology, but they were right on board with us um, from the get-go. And like Natasha said, we were very communicative with them. Um, they were great with support and they still are currently. Anytime that we need any support, we're able to reach out and make sure they're able to help us take care of our patients here in Southwest Florida. Yeah, and I'm going to piggyback off a little bit of what Amanda said too. Dr. Danahay has been awesome whenever he remotes in because I am a new um, cardiac MRI technologist and some of the things are different to me. So if something doesn't look right, I just give him a phone call and he is able to log in and kind of assist with that as well. Yes, I would add on to that. I think that's one of the advantages of the Vista AI system is I can kind of sit in the, for lack of a better term, cardiac um, command center, and I can log in to multiple sites 
Um, if there's a question, you know, about what to scan, how to scan, what is this, is that pathology? Um, it's really easy to log on, take a quick look, um, you know, converse with Tasha, uh, and then we kind of just move on and problem solve and, and, and keep going. So it, it definitely adds a layer of efficiency compared to our prior situation um, when we were doing kind of conventional MR in the conventional way. And so I know one of the big parts of cardiac MRI has been because of those long scan times, you end up with some pretty serious backlogs. But one thing I remember hearing specifically about Vista AI is that they're capable of helping you reduce your backlog down to zero. Uh, was that the case with Radiology Regional? And could you maybe tell a little, a little bit about that? So Victor, that's an interesting story, actually. You can never predict your staffing. Um, and we had a combination of events where we had three um, kind of well-trained expert critic MR techs in the practice. And within the space of two months, they all departed for one reason or another. Um, and fortunately in the background, we had been negotiating with Vista AI um, to bring the product uh, to market in our, in, our, um, in our community. And the timing just happened to coincide. Um, and so fortunately for us, it worked out. We did have some about a couple of months where we really had very limited cardiac MR access. We were just doing every other weekend based on technical availability. Um, and that really kind of obviously dented our volumes, but really limited access for the patients, which is obviously the most important thing. Um, and with the implementation of Vista AI, um, we were able to um, take care of that backlog. And I'll let Tasha and um, Amanda speak to that a little bit more. Okay, I can speak to it. So as Dr. Dan, he stated, we did have um, some attrition occur. And so in the spring, summer months, we were only doing about eight to 10 cases a month. Um, we've been able to add up to 12 exams a week once we started Vista AI at two centers. Um, so we're doing an average of about 35 to 40 per month now um, with the goal of expanding to two other additional sites within our um, network. So it has been a huge um, savings for us and our patients that we can help support our cardiologists in the area to go ahead and scan their patients so they can take care of them appropriately. I would like to add that we are, I mean, from what I was scanning the traditional way, um, we are actually able to do more. Now I know Dr. Dana can probably speak more on that. Um, like the flow, that was something that we weren't able to do the real color flow. Yes, I would agree, Tasha. I think prior to the implementation of Vista AI, the flow cases and valvular cases are rather complicated and challenging for the technologist. Um, Vista AI has helped simplify valvular disease evaluation, and we're able to do it in a much more time-efficient manner. And uh, hence, it's now being used, I think, more widely in the community um, as a result of our ability to perform those uh, exams in a timely, efficient manner with a high-quality, excellent results. So, I mean, it's clear just from that discussion how much uh, the software has helped to improve both your workflows, your imaging volumes. But obviously, it's not all uh, as easy as just plug and play. Uh, what are maybe some of the concerns you've seen amongst uh, technologists and your colleagues when it comes to how AI and, and maybe even this software fits into their jobs and their workflows? As being an MRI technologist, AI can be scary to think about. Um, as the future, but at the same time, you know, we want to lead um, with the latest technology that there is. And in my experience, something that would normally take me 25, 30 minutes to get um, for each of my views for the heart, like the three chamber, four chamber, LVOT, I'm able to actually get now in five to 10 seconds with the Vista AI. So it actually just kind of streamlines and helps optimize our parameters and our sequences. Yeah, I would agree with what Tasha's saying with the technical background is AI is the future, but us that work on the grounds, we do, you know, question if AI is taking over our job per se. Um, it is not. It is there to support. Um, like Tasha said, we've been able to really um, help support our um, patients. We've been able to get consistency um, with the different cases and what she said of doing 25 minutes to find her scan angles it does it for her in five minutes. She's still very important in the role of making sure it has what we need, all the parameters are met, the flow is met. It's not taking any of that knowledge that Natasha has away from her. It's just helping support her in getting those quality images for our patients. I think having trained multiple technologists under the old kind of conventional route, it's a it's a process. Um, some of the training would have to require offsite 
uh, education, some on-site education. I think where Vista AI really makes a difference is in the novice or new tech because they can focus on anatomy and pathology and even physiology without having to worry as much as without having to worry as much about getting the appropriate planning scans, making sure you're lined up, because that's really accomplished by the Vista AI. It really allows them to focus on other things and doing the highest level exam that, that we can perform. When Vista AI first came out, I had a discussion with Tasha and I noticed she was a little reticent, a little concerned about you know, AI replacing her job. And I, we had a great discussion looking at AI and embracing it as a way to make your job easier and more efficient and provide a better level of service. And I think if you can look at it in that fashion, you're much more likely to become a more versatile and, and well-trained uh, technologist. So it sounds like you've been able to assuage maybe some of those worries, and uh, that's probably very important considering how you've implemented Vista AI across your sites. Uh, could you tell us maybe a little bit more about your future plans for expanding the use of the technology and where you guys are headed? Yes. So as I stated before, that our plan is to add two additional sites um, in our northern market in southwest Florida. Um, those will actually be remote scan sites, meaning our um, trained cardiac MR technologists will be running those machines. The MRI tech will still be there to support, contrast, um, you know, do the scout scan, et cetera. But this will be a way that we can hit that northern market where there is no um, availability for this technology at this time. We also are working with Vista Egg closely on some of their newer um, projects that are coming down the, the road as far as like adding other anatomies to their Vista AI um, software. Again, helping us with consistency and good quality images for our patients. Yes, I think the ability to, pro the, the ability to perform remote scans is key for us um, because we're now able to open up access to high level, high quality MR in communities that we Previously, we're not able to do that just because we had geographic restrictions from our technologists being able to travel to those offices. So now we're unrestricted from the Vista AI perspective, even if we are restricted geographically from the perspective of where our technologists sit and work. It's a great combination, and, and we're really looking forward to deploying these other sites and bringing the technology. Well, with all that, Dr. Danahy, Amanda, and Natasha, thank you so much for all of that background. Before we go, I'd like to give each of you the opportunity to get a message out to your colleagues. Let's go ahead and start with Dr. Danahy. What's one message you'd like your colleagues to know, be that about Radiology Regional, what you're doing with cardiac MRI, or Vista AI? I'm looking at a two-pronged answer, Victor. Um, I think on a global scale, Vista AI, I'm convinced, is going to raise the bar for the quality of cardiac MR imaging across the board. And I think that's a win-win for everybody, for the patient, for the imager, and for the referring physician. Locally, Vista AI is helping us realize our goal of increasing access to high-quality MR throughout our community-based setting. Amanda? I would say um, to fellow colleagues to embrace the technology that's coming, as we've seen over the decades that we've all worked in the imaging field, just the advancements that have happened. AI can be your friend and can be supportive, it, um, and I really encourage it from a technologist standpoint. It's very exciting. Natasha? So I'm going to be with like what Dr. Danahay said um, with Vista AI. It has tremendously helped me as a MRI technologist. It was an eye-opener. Um, it actually has helped me out so much whenever it comes to lining up exams um, and just really talking to the patients and getting them through the test because, like I said, it is a less um, scan time. And then with Radiology Regional, um, it's a outpatient. And like Dr. Dana, I said, it's spread all across the West Coast. And now we're able to go in remotely and scan the cardiac MRIs in more areas so the patients don't have to travel as far to get that same quality image. Well, thank you for those insights. Dr. Danahy, Amanda, Natasha, thank you so much for your time today. We're so grateful that we got to learn so much about Radiology Regional and the work you're doing with Vista AI and Cardiac MRI. I've been Victor. This is Cardiac Wire. Thanks and goodbye. <laughs>